I had a comment asking for a video of compressing um, biogas into a propane tank. And I, I've seen a lot of people asking for that video on pages and forums I'm in. So I'm ready to do that today. Um, I've got nobody to cameraman for me and I don't know how to edit. So fair warning, this might be a hard video to watch. And if you have no interest in compressing biogas, um, just don't. Here we go. Okay, so I have two inner tubes full of gas. Uh, I'll just do one in this video. Um, and I'll plug this in and it'll be open to it. And then uh, we're gonna go through three filters. One steel wool, because everyone says you have to. The other one's charcoal. And the last one's desiccant. And this tube, that center tube is full, full. I just drilled holes in the bottom of it. And it's full of desiccant. So should get nice and dry. Um, I, it's already bubbled through water uh, at my digester. It bubbled through water on its way to the tube. So I know there's zero H2S in there. And uh, well, it's downstream of the filter. It's going to come through this hose yep, into the suction of my compressor. Yep. And that fitting is cross-threaded in there. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not supposed to go there, but it, uh, there's supposed to be an air filter there. Uh, but it doesn't leak, so that works. Um, this compressor I got off Amazon, um, it goes up to, does it go up to 5,000 pounds, something like 6,000 pounds? So I got this fancy compressor because in the future I'm going to want to um, run my vehicle off of uh, CNG. And to do that I have to be able to get up to... I forget now, I think it was 2,800 pounds. So I had to get a, uh, so, so I went ahead and for this, spent the extra money right away. I think it was like 300 bucks. Um, okay, so this compressor needs to be cooled. It's water cooled. And if I run it, even at low, even if I'm just trying to go up to a couple hundred PSI, if I run it without the water, it'll overheat and shut down. So, I've got, uh, it came with this uh, submersible pump, and I have to run this to run the compressor. So that's going, and if you get a similar compressor, uh, that's the inlet on the bottom, always the bottom, the outlet on the top, so you know it's full of water, it's not just trickling out. Uh, now downstream of the compressor, that's the suction, this is the discharge. Um, this goes through a submerser, a, a little particulate filter, and into my propane tank. And I added this T to my fittings here so that I could put my own gauge on there. Um, the gauge built into the compressor goes up to 5,000 PSI. That's too high. This tank can only handle 300 so uh, I got my own gauge and right now I think a month ago or so I put I put two inner tubes in here already and I'm up to let's check it out it's up to about 20 pounds Okay, so one thing, another thing you want to do to be, okay, two things to be careful. I got a bucket of water here and a fire extinguisher from like the 20s. Um, in case of fire, and then another thing to be careful, before you turn this air compressor on, you want to make sure that downstream 
is open. If you open it with this valve closed, you're going to overpressure everything uh, and possibly cause a big problem. So definitely want to open that first. Now, second thing to be safe, you want to purge the lines. People want to know why this doesn't explode. Um, and the, the only answer is there's no air in here. <laughs> I'm going to purge all the air out before I turn my compressor on uh, for safety. So you need oxygen. There's no oxygen in the inner tube. I hope there's no oxygen in the tank. Um, so we just clear the oxygen out of the lines. And I'm going to do that. Let's pressurize that. And I got a bleeder here. I'll do a little more. Okay. I'll actually just leave that open. And then I got a bleeder on the upstream side. That's this one. I don't know why this hose is so short. That was stupid. Okay. And I'll just squish it. It's faint, but you can hear air coming out of there. Okay. And we're open. I think we're ready. This thing wants to start with no pressure on it, so I'll just...
there it is and that's almost 50 pounds so we got 30 more pounds out of that uh, that one inner tube that's pretty cool now one thing I uh, another thing I thought about to say there's questions uh, on the forums about where to get this fitting propane tanks have left-handed thread um, and I, I, they might even have their own special pitch. Uh, so this, this fitting's pretty special. It's hard to find. Um, I got mine at my local, uh, uh, it's a propane delivery company. Farmers, like farmers have the big propane tanks. They get filled up once or twice a year. And the people who come around and fill those up, um, they have fittings like this. So this goes from uh, uh, left-handed propane tank and it to, uh, that looks like male, uh, maybe three-quarter inch MPT, I don't remember. Some kind of MPT. And, th and then from there you can do whatever you need to. I, I had to take it down to quarter inch to fit my setup. But yeah, that's, that's a hard fitting to find. It's not on Amazon or I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. And I actually went to pipe fitting uh, places nearby that deal with a lot of pipeline fittings and things like that. And uh, wasn't able to find it there either. So, yeah, find somebody who commercially delivers propane. Um, and and that'll, be, that'll be the hardest part of this. Okay, cool. That's how you do that.